I was young, I loved helping people. In the summer of my seventh grade, I attended Yinghua Leadership Camp, a sleepaway camp that takes students from the United States to visit China for four weeks. In those four weeks, we traveled to Beijing's popular tourist destinations and learned about Beijing's rich culture. But by far, the most pivotal moments came in the last week when I volunteered at an orphanage. During that week at the Sun Village Orphanage, the rain was torrential with water rising up to our knees. I and the other leadership students worked effectively to move all the children's belongings to a storage room. Losing something even as small as a piece of cloth from an old favorite coat would have been upsetting to the orphans who had so little. But after we settled in for the storm, we played an ebullient game of tag and I led drawing classes for the children. And watching their eyes glisten as I showed them how to create animals from simple geometric shapes was one of the sweetest experiences of my life. These were children of my age and younger, yet they had never been mentored in anything but basic reading, writing, and math. But their creativity was endless. They drew cows from circles and semicircles. They drew horses from trapezoids and rectangles, and even penguins from uh, diamonds and triangles. A remarkable moment came when they noticed that they could be vehicles of creation, artists, voices, and individualists. Making art with the children bound us. They were orphans and had lived through difficult lives with far greater challenges than I, but in that moment, we were the same, just artistic makers who loved to create. So perhaps, I mused, through the right platform and mentorship, one of my little makers would be featured on Museum Wall someday. So after this experience, I fast-tracked the plan for my community arts initiative, Teen Mobile Arts, a nonprofit which joins together talented teen artists into a larger mobile ensemble of creators all over the world. And to pay homage to my experience at the Sun Village Orphanage, after founding Teen Mobile Arts, I worked with the US Embassy in Sierra Leone to support an orphanage called the Variety Center. We collected donations, needed items, and of course, artwork with loving messages from students around the world. I believe that artistic expression transcends cultural and political arguments. When words fail, art delivers. Messaging becomes more nuanced and heartfelt when it comes through the medium of art. It can unite people of diverse ethnicities and cultures, making art spaces more diverse, inclusive, and vibrant. And it can move us in ways that words may not be able to because of their divisiveness. So as a collaborative messaging system, young artists can be extremely powerful. They can present narratives of hope, they can express the anxieties of their time, and they can raise awareness for important causes. So as an enthusiastic community organizer and a fine artist, I decided to meld my interest in art into a new mission impossible for the community of young artists I know so well. As a longtime student of art and an arts advocate, I am painfully aware of how seemingly impossible it is for young artists to have commercial success or long-term exhibits of their art in the community. Young artists are hungry for feedback, interpretation, and appreciation of their creations by large and diverse audiences. But it's difficult for us teen artists to exhibit our talents, points of views, and pressing social messages beyond the constraints of our high school art departments. So I was inspired to find the nonprofit Teen Mobile Arts to start an international chain reaction that propels multiplier effects by providing these young artists with a traveling mobile platform. And like the beginning of many chain reactions, Teen Mobile Arts started off small. We started by exhibiting uh, our teen artist artwork in local shops and businesses through rotating shows. For example, we worked with local coffee shops and local public libraries to hold art exhibitions and workshops for the children. Most recently, we partnered with the African Art Museum of Maryland as well as the CCACC Gallery to hold an, art, uh, an, art, an annual art reach event in which we uh, led a mass coloring activity as a way to reach out to young, passionate, and curious artists in the community. And with the momentum of these local endeavors, Teen Mobile Arts has now burgeoned into an international program. Currently, we have chapters in eight different countries. Of course, we have chapters here in the United States, but we also have chapters in territories like Puerto Rico and countries like Senegal, Liberia, Nigeria, Uganda, India, China, and Taiwan. And we auction our artists' artwork to support the work of global charities, like the uh, National Foundation for Cancer Research, Fight Against Rape, Rehab Africa, and of course, the Sun Village Orphanage, among many others. 
To date, T-Mobile Arts has raised $34,000 and served over 81,000 people internationally. And through these many ways, the arts can be used as a tool to help transcend over uh, political, familial, and societal volatility and pain. We feature a board of our International Museum Youth Council members, which act as our liaisons to countries all over the world. Each board member connects us with artists and art organizations from their ancestral countries, helping us to magnify our chain reactions. They not only help us to create an international network to highlight the unique aspects of each country's artwork, but they also allow us to bring greater visibility to uh, these different types of art. And in order to reach an even larger audience and to further spread our chain reaction, T-Mobile Arts partners with diverse art organizations and museums all over the world. We've worked with the African Art Museum of Maryland, the Nike Art Center for, uh, the Nike Center for Art and Culture in Nigeria, the CCACC in DC, as well as the Gallery Arts in Senegal. And we work in partnership with these countries to bring more visibility to different types of culture and art. Every culture has extremely valuable and important art perspectives and styles, and by showcasing them together on one platform, we can bring these artworks and more representative works to a wider audience. I believe that innovation is crucial to a generation whose future will not be linear. So Teen Mobile Arts uses the fine arts to create global bonds by inviting young and passionate artists to express their personal or international perspectives on today's pressing problems. My generation understands art as a tool for transcendence over politics and pain. Through Teen Mobile Arts, I have been able to create and, create and maintain friendships with young, passionate artists all over the world. I have forged connections with Nigerian creators, Indian painters, and Chinese sculptors, and created mutual support systems that encourage all of us to continue to pursue our passions. This blossoming of creativity and art allowed the perspectives and practices of teen mobile arts artists to proliferate globally. We reached out and embraced solo artists like Crystal Aduaka, for example, a Nigerian hyperrealism artist who had his very first public and international exhibition with teen mobile arts. This spurs us to build expansive but close-knit communities of passionate youth despite any geographical barriers. And through these ongoing chain reactions, the horizon for future possibilities is unlimited. Thank you.